Hi. Is it possible to maintain internet connectivity during power outages? We have gathered and summarized information from our Ukrainian clients and friends, including internet providers and their customers, office companies, educational institutions, and household users. Today, we are going to delve into several successful scenarios for staying connected when electricity is unavailable using Microtech devices in case if your internet service provider or mobile operator can continue offering services such as during a blackout. There are numerous options for powering devices depending on your situation, but let's explore the two most accessible choices – power banks and regular UPS. Case 1 – Basement Rooms for outfitting basement areas or storage spaces, you can use the following Microtech equipment. LTAP Mini LTE Kit or SXT LTE Kit routers for more remote locations. All these devices should be surface mounted and have an active SIM card. Connect them to a PoE router or switch. Inside the premises, depending on its type and size, you can connect multiple access points that are also powered by the same PoE device. In essence, you only need to manage the operation of a single PoE router or switch that supplies power to other devices. For this purpose, you can use PoE devices such as the cheapest choice Hex PoE router, Powerbox Pro, RB5009 series routers with PoE output along with CAP access points. For instance, if you also need to power other devices like surveillance cameras, PoE switches may be useful using an appropriate power adapter for 24 or 48 volts. Cloud router switch 112 8P4S in or Microtech NetPower 16P router. Before buying and using cameras or any other equipment, check their specifications to prevent exceeding power consumption limits. If your premises are small and a PoE switch is not practical, you can directly use a Wi-Fi router with a PoE output connected to an LTE router on this surface. Case 2. Multi-apartment buildings. If you reside in a multi-apartment buildings, you can power your router using an UPS or in some models even a power bank. The following router models can be handy. Hub Mini, Hub Lite TC, Hub AX Lite, AX Squared, AX Cube. The latest product, Hub AX Lite, LTE 6, CAP series access points, the Chateau LTE series router is also highly popular. For small offices, the WAP series access points with LTE modems are highly recommended and can also be powered by a UPS. On the product pages of our website, you can find information about the power requirements for each model using the maximum power consumption parameter. This will help you roughly estimate device operation duration. Additionally, for a more detailed comparison of different models, you can refer to the product metrics. Now let's provide an example. The basic formula is to multiply ampere hours by the battery nominal voltage and divide it by the power that is getting drawn. Normally, there is a small power loss of around 5% when converting DC to DC, but we will ignore it for now. If we want to calculate the approximate operating time for HEP AC square using the small power bank, we can take 21 watts from our product page listed as maximum power consumption. That works out to be about 2.7 hours, but the router will not draw that much the whole time, so realistically it could last something like 3 hours. When it comes to calculation for EPS, we should add a coefficient of 0.85 to our formula, as converting between AC and DC results is great in losses. My UPS has a battery capacity is rated at 81, which is the ampere hours already multiplied by nominal voltage. So if we multiply that by our coefficient and divide it by the hub IC square max draw, it works out to be about 3.27 hours or 3 hours and 16 minutes. Please note that the calculations are based on the maximum power consumption. However, in practice you are unlikely to reach the device's full load. The task of maintaining communication during power outages can be critical, especially in today's world 
where the internet plays a significant role in various aspects of our lives. By choosing suitable equipment such as routers, access points and other microtech devices, you can ensure stable internet access during blackouts. Don't forget to consider power consumption calculations and ensure that your chosen power source aligns with the equipment's requirements. I hope this information has been valuable for you. Share your experiences and questions in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe our channel to stay updated on the latest news. See you next time.